Here at Copernus, raw material starts its journey on the intake bay, where it's unloaded by the dispatch operatives and catalogued by a member of the quality assurance team. Pallets are then labelled so that they can be traced and identified as they travel through the factory, where they are then placed in a chiller to await assignment. If the product is frozen, it will be sent through the defrost department. At this stage of our process, headed and gutted frozen fish are processed through a Skagin 3X water defroster. If the products are received IQF or block frozen, we decant them onto racks in a separate area and typically these materials are defrosted over a 24 hour period before any further processing. The raw material then moves through the primary department to be prepared for packing. We have multiple lines running within this department. The salmon line, as the name suggests, is specifically for processing salmon. Heads are removed by hand. Then the headless salmon is processed by a Marel Carnatec. Each fillet goes on to be hand trimmed, put through a pin boner and is also manually checked for any remaining bones. Our filleting line is used to remove the fillet from the carcass. It then continues on through a skinning machine and onto a trimming conveyor before being pin boned and portioned through our Marel FlexiCut. This highly intelligent machine, which is one of only a handful here in the UK, X-rays each fillet to determine the optimal cut, which are then carried out automatically using high pressure water jets. A manual deboning process is used for pre-cut boning portions. We have four thermoformer lines that are able to pack a wide variety of pack sizes as well as a PA tray sealer for food service. Each line metal detects. Three lines have inline labellers which have the ability to pack linerless material. Throughout each process, there are routine checks to ensure that the visual of the packed product is to the highest standard. Anything deemed unsatisfactory is discarded. Other quality assurance checks, such as temperature conformity and foreign object contamination is monitored closely at these stages. We also have internal blast freeze and storage facilities on site running to minus 35 degrees. Once the product is in its final format, it is dispatched under strict temperature controlled conditions.